Let's use Scratch today to make a simple program where a parrot flies back and forth across the scene. When you first open up a new program in Scratch, you'll see that you have your basic work plane. Over here is what your scene is going to look like. It automatically starts up with a blank scene and Scratch Cat. This area is where you're going to program in the middle. And here are all your controls that you're going to add in. We don't want Scratch Cat, we want a parrot. So I'm going to click down on the bottom right on the garbage can by the cat and delete him. Then I'm going to click on the cat button and choose a new sprite. I want a parrot, so I'm going to type in parrot. And there's my parrot. If you noticed before I clicked on him, the parrot was flapping his wings. This is because in costumes, up on the upper left, you can see that the parrot has two costumes, one where his wings are up and one where his wings are down. That gives it the illusion of flapping its wings. Now let's set a backdrop. I'm going to click over in the far right corner on the backdrop button, and I'm just going to put him in the blue sky. So here we have my parrot sitting in the blue sky. First thing we need to do is tell the parrot to start when we click on the flag. So we'll click on events and we'll choose when the flag is clicked. Next we want to figure out where we want the parrot to be. I want my parrot to come off from off screen so I'm going to move him over to the side and put him down. Sometimes he doesn't like to play. There we go. So he's going to start off down here. If I go to motion, I can find the go to X and Y. And since I moved the parrot first to the position where I wanted him to be, his coordinates, which are seen down in the right hand controllers here, are put up automatically into the X and Y. I could change that if I wanted and make him be higher up or lower down. It doesn't matter. I want him to start with his wings up, so I'm going to click on looks and I'm going to tell it to switch the costume to parrot A, which is the parrot with his wings up. Now we're going to get him moving. So we're going to click on control and we're going to put in a forever repeat. And we're just going to plop that down. And now let's make him move. So the first thing we want to do is we want to give him a motion. So we're going to click on motion and we're going to have him move. It move 10 steps, but I want him to move a little faster. So I'm going to make him move 15 steps. And then I'm going to change his looks after he moves so that his wings go down. So I'm going to switch his costume to parrot B under looks. And then I'm going to add a control that tells him to wait. Because if you switch costumes back and forth, but you don't pause between costumes, you don't see any change. So right now it's set for one second, but that's way too long to wait. It'll look like he's hanging in midair. So I'm going to change that to a quarter of a second, 0.25. Now the fun thing with Scratch is I've built this little block here and I can right click on it and I can duplicate it and I can put that other block underneath. So now I have a block where he's going to move 15 and then he's going to change from parrot B and then we don't want him to change to parrot B again, we want him to change back to parrot A, which will make his wings go up and down. We're going to put that block into our forever loop. Now I'm going to click on the flag so you can see how it works and you'll see there's going to be a small problem. Here he goes. He's flying across the screen very nicely, but watch what happens when he gets to the end. He gets stuck and he flashes back and forth. So I'm going to click on the stop sign so that we stop him from continuing. And we're going to add a very simple motion in there, which is to tell him that when he hits the edge, he should bounce. 
that will make him turn around and go the other way. But again, I'm going to click on the flag because you'll see there's another slight problem. He's flying across. He gets to the edge and suddenly he's flying upside down. We don't want that to happen. So we need to tell the computer not to flip him on his head. Which means that we have to go into motion and we want to grab let me stop him. We want to grab a set rotation style left right so that the computer knows that he's moving left and right. He's not moving around in a circle. And so now if we click on the green flag, here he goes. He's flying. And when he gets to the edge, he's going to turn around and fly the other way. And he'll continue to do this forever because we made it a forever loop. If we wanted to make it only last for a short period of time, there are other loops that you could put in. You could do a repeat it a certain number of times, or we can give it an if then or one of the other loops. That's it. You've now programmed a parrot flying back and forth.